Oi, what should I use? What should I use? I only have one knife up here. So it's going to have to be the Smith & Wesson. What's up, guys? It's another unboxing. The second one of the week. This time, it is not a new comic book day, but it is comic books. And this is coming from my good friend at Empty Tombs Comics. You can find him on Instagram. Uh, it's empty underscore tomb underscore comics right here on Instagram. So... Uh, check them, uh, check him out, um, and he's got some old uh, books, some current books, some variants, some classic diamonds in the rough, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to bust into this bad boy and see what we've got for this week. we got, uh, whoops, we got to try to get underneath the, uh, the label there. Don't want to give away the address. Of course, I'm being harassed that this was a big box, super heavy, would you buy kind of deal. All right. Oh, geez, I did buy a lot of stuff this time around. So again, Empty Tomb Comics on Instagram. Some cool books. Had a dollar sale on Wolverine books going about a week or so ago. Got some... Uh, other stuff I'm going to show off. God dang. What did I buy? Hope everyone is having a fantastic Saturday. Just got done doing a little Costco shopping. Wow. This thing is so packed. Look at this. It's busting at the seams. <laughs> I'm almost kind of worried I'm bored. Yeah, that's probably why you've stayed on and watched as long as you have, Jim. Jim, how much would you say that that uh, Dragon Ball Z card that I showed you yesterday is worth? I'm kind of curious. I don't know much about playing cards and Dragon Ball Z cards and uh, Pokemon cards. Zero? <laughs> Why? Because it wasn't Goku? <laughs> so what do we got here first? Well, let's just bust into this. Oh, got some Wolverine books. Well, ooh, that's what I was looking forward to. So let's start with those. These are the Wolverines, but just give it to me. Wish I had it still. Uh, we got here uh, Black Panther Dark Rain. This is a mini series done by J. Scott Campbell. Um, this is uh, book number six. Issue number one and issue number five in this run are actually super important because issue number one is the first appearance of Shuri as the Black Panther. She's on the cover. Issue number five, which is obviously right before this one, is the first full appearance of Shuri as uh, the Black Panther. And of course, a really cool cover of T'Challa and Aurora, um, a.k.a. Storm, on the cover. Uh, I could not... Uh, Dark, uh, Empty Tombs didn't have five or one. He's working on it for me. But I think I've got uh, a little bit of a, a task at hand for uh, the Comic-Con season this year. So Black Panther, Dark Rain, number six. Uh, again, cover art by J. Scott Campbell. So I'll put that one to the side. Here we go. Marvel Knights. You, you do Marvel Knights plus Daredevil. You've got yourself some uh, some great comics. Love the artwork uh, on the, uh, the on these covers. Um I don't know who did this. It might be a Gatos cover, um, which is uh, who did the um, the artwork for Jessica Jones uh, and the Alias books. We've got issue number one of Daredevil Redemption, issue number two. This is very much, looks like a Gatos cover, maybe even, um, uh, I don't think it's a David Mack but I could be wrong, but uh, I'll do some uh, some more research on it. But it's just really cool cover. Cool so this is issue number two of six, Marvel Knights, Daredevil Redemption, and issue number three of six, Daredevil Redemption. Uh, these are from, I believe, these might be from like the 90s um, or maybe early 2000s. 
Then we got a classic Justice League. Uh, I think this might be bordering on a Silver Age book. This is D Justice League of America number 104, as you see right there. Uh, February, I don't have... It does not post the year on here like they do now. But, of course, a very classic run of Justice League. You've got Superman, Batman, Flash, Green Arrow, Hawkman, and the Green Lantern. No Wonder Woman in this uh, in this run. So cool. Uh, very close to a Silver Age book. Uh, absolutely love this cover. I used to see this one uh, as a kid. And uh, when I started collecting books again, I saw this one. Uh, I don't know who did the cover, but this is an early run of Superman number, uh, you can see right there, uh, number nine. This is from September of 1987. So um, really, really clean looking book. Look at the spine there. Um, no real wear and tear. Really clean looking book. Uh, then we got this Wol uh, a Wolverine run. This is, I believe... Um, might be volume two, no, volume three. Volume one, of course, is that very iconic uh, Wolverine cover with his, you know, the claws, and he's got the, the finger, kind of like, come here. Um, that's volume one. Volume two is the, is the extensive run that they did starting in the early 1980s. Uh, this might be volume two. Um, this is a direct edition. Oh, this is... Ooh, parental. Oh, it's this is Marvel Knights. This is some good stuff right here. So, Wolverine number thirty-two. Uh, this is. I'm almost positive this for sure. I think is volume. This might be volume three. This might be volume four. So we got Wolverine number two. Uh, then we've got number three again. Kind of a change uh, of the tr a change in the look of the. Uh, uh, Logan uh, artwork there. Still got the classic animantium claws. Wolverine number four. Again, I think this is volume three of, uh, of the uh, Wolverine books. Number five. So we got two through five, two through six. This was all from the dollar sale that Empty Tombs was running a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I had a great Wolverine collection going, so... Um, again, really excited to work on. And then this was from, uh, I believe this number 18 is from this run. So uh, again, working on the uh, the Wolverine titles. Then we've got this one, uh, Walking Dead number 19. This is a 15th anniversary uh, edition uh, cover. This is from uh, just a, a few months ago, and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a cool book. Um, of course, it's kind of a, a cover, or kind of a redo of the classic cover 19. This is a J. Scott Campbell variant. I actually have the color virgin variant of this one, um, and this is actually the first appearance. Oh, and I cannot remember her name off the top of my head, but uh, very one of the most popular characters in the. Um, uh, in the uh, Walking Dead lore. So, uh, really cool book. And I got this one uh, for a pretty good price. Uh, disregard that sticker. I did not get it for that price. Uh, again, shout out to Empty Tombs. Hooking me up on a great deal on this one. Adding this to my collection. I would still love to have the black and white sketch variant uh, of this one. And the virgin variant of the black and white sketch. Then we've got this one. Now, for those who don't know, back about 2015-2016, Marvel did some cover swipes um for a lot of their uh their runs with uh the hip hop variants uh that were met with huge huge um uh praise and uh shortly thereafter i think it was like 2017 they did some rock variants and of course this one is a um it says appetite for tacos this is a cover swipe for the uh, the legendary rock album by Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction which came out in 1986 um, I have this one, and I think there was a cover swipe for Nirvana's, uh, one of Nirvana's albums uh, that came out around the same time, but it wasn't, it didn't reach the same level as the hip-hop variants, the rock variants, that is, so um, 
got this from for a pretty good steal. I really thought the, I like this one, and the Deadpool corpse was met with some uh, some critical acclaim back uh, a couple of years ago. So there's that one. Going back to the dark reign of Black Panther, uh, this of course, if you see, um, this is very uh, obviously a very effeminate Black Panther because that is Shuri. This is issue number four, um, and the first cover appearance of Shuri as the Black Panther was, like I said, issue number one. Uh, then she makes the full, first full appearance in issue number five, which I did not get, unfortunately. So um, did have to work on that one during the con season. So there's issue number four. There's issue number three, and the uh, I think this might have been the third appearance of Shuri as uh, on the cover at least as the Black Panther. So Dark Rain, Black Panther. This is from the early two thousands. And these are all done by J. Scott Campbell. So there's issue number three. Issue number two, you've got, uh, I think that is, um, can't quite tell you. That it looks like it could be Shuri. Um, but uh, you've got, got Dr. Doom uh, being menacing as always. And again, this is uh, issue number two of the Dark Rain series from Black Panther in the early 2000s cover done by J. Scott Campbell. So again, missing number one, missing number five. And then this one, super cool. You know, Campbell does a lot. I mean, he is known for doing his Spider-Man. Never have I seen him do a Moon Knight. And that is a fantastic Moon Knight. Uh, the Heroic Age, Vengeance of Moon Knight. Marvel, uh, this is from, uh, this is number nine from, this has to be probably early to late 2000s, the early aughts, or mid to or late aughts in Marvel. So cool cover. I know that uh, Empty Tombs got his hands on this one and then flipped it to me for a pretty competitive price. So really appreciate that. So there you go. Unboxing from Empty Tombs. Uh, I know I, I uh, buy a lot and you're probably going like, oh my gosh, Kevin, where are you putting all these? And I'll show you. <laughs> it all goes right here. So a huge comic book collection that continues to grow. As you can tell, I have a lot of organization to do. Probably going to spend, uh, um, show some, show more hentai. I don't think I have any. I think that's all in your collection, Jim. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Wolverines. Black Panther. Got the Superman Joker cover. Justice League. I'm almost positive that's a Silver Age book. Uh, Daredevil Redemption, Walking Dead number 19. Um, got more Wolverine and, of course, the Deadpool Corpse um, rock and roll variant cover swipe with then what the F are you doing here, Doing here, Kevin? <sighs> more hentai. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Jim needs to start doing showing off what he has in his comic book collection. I think everyone would be uh, just his friend. <laughs> So, all right, guys. Um, also, don't forget, check out uh, the Comic Asylum Palm Desert YouTube channel. Uh, there's a new video up. I'll have a link posted up here momentarily um, for uh, a new video that I did, a uh, video blog that I did with uh, the people from Comic Asylum uh, about new and old uh, kind of classic comic book storylines and whatnot. I'm going to start a little mini series on them. That's going to air here, uh, over a period of, uh, the next couple of weeks over on their YouTube channel, go to youtube.com and search out, uh, comic asylum, Palm desert and, uh, check it out. I'll post a new video, uh, probably here with the link uh, shortly, or you could just go over to YouTube and check it out. Anyways, have a great Saturday. Um, hope you guys are, uh, having, f not having too much fun. And uh, I've got a little bit of organization to do, and maybe I'll do a live video or something that one of these days if anyone really cares. All right, thank you. All right, guys, don't forget to go over to like, go over to, to uh, youtube.com slash wildthing2331. That's W I L D T H I N G 2331. And like and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Also, go over to a sports show on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, a sports show on all the social media platforms, like and subscribe or follow, whatever you need to do on those social media platforms as we're going to continue to get all the latest sports news. We're getting crazy busy right now as baseball season's kicking off. The football draft is right around the corner. I, um, Jim and I and Michael um, 
Gizmo Granados are probably going to sit down here in the next couple of weeks and really start to hash out what we're going to do from a live show standpoint. I know we've been off the air for a while, but we're going to continue to bring you the latest news in sports. Um, again, a sports show on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I, I'd really, really like to do a uh, an NFL draft show, like a live reaction show as we watch it on ESPN or something like that. Uh, when it come when the uh, draft, I think it's like next month or the month after. So, all right, guys, have a great uh, Saturday, and I will talk to you soon.